welcome and thank you for clicking on this video. If you like these types of videos, please consider supporting us by hitting the like button and clicking subscribe below. We post videos daily to help encourage you on your walk with Jesus. Now, on to today's thought. Today's thought. You can trust the man who died for you. Charles E. Cowman. Psalm 48, a song and psalm for the sons of Korah. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised in the city of our God, in the mountain of his holiness. Beautiful for situation, the joy of the whole earth is Mount Zion. On the sides of the north, the city of the great king. God is known in her palaces for a refuge. For lo, the kings were assembled, they passed by together. They saw it, and so they marveled. They were troubled and hasted away. Fear took hold upon them there, and pain as of a woman in travail. Thou breakest the ships of Tarshish with an east wind. As we have heard, so have we seen in the city of the Lord of hosts, in the city of our God. God will establish it forever, Salah. We have thought of thy loving kindness, O God, in the midst of thy temple. According to thy name, O God, so is thy praise unto the ends of the earth. Thy right hand is full of righteousness. Let Mount Zion rejoice. Let the daughters of Judah be glad because of thy judgments. Walk about Zion and go round about her. Tell the towers thereof. Mark ye well her bulwarks. Consider her palaces, that ye may tell it to the generation following. For this God is our God forever and ever. He will be our guide even unto death. This psalm also speaks of the millennial reign and the victory of the Messiah during that time. However, verse 14 applies throughout all time, including today. For this God is our God forever and ever. He will be our guide even unto death. That declaration is that God has been and will be one's guide no matter the generation, trials, and throughout our lifetime. That realization and comfort has gotten many of God's followers through their life, be it health, life-changing decisions, survival, financial, and all other situations in life. God will never leave thee nor forsake thee, his own. He will be one's guide through life, no matter what is faced, if he is allowed. I lived 28 years without seeking or following godly leadership. Most of my regrets today have been because of the wrong choices and actions when I did not allow or seek God's direction. However, now things are different on the safe side of the cross since I have been born again and attempt to obey Him. What a comfort it is to know one has a righteous and holy God leading them through life. Most challenges we face appear frightening when they are first seen. However, after years of seeing God's successful and safe leadership through the daunting storms, I am convinced ensure that whatever looms over us will be dealt with by God's guidance and protection. Although some may not like this statement about going through testing and tribulations, it no longer is by faith for me. God has guided me through countless situations, which he has changed the outcomes, answered thousands of prayers, done the impossible so many times, done more for me than I deserve, and now I am confident I know he will do it again. My past experiences have taught me he will always help us if we seek his assistance and his will. Just this week I had a situation with what would appear to many as not having a positive outcome. Every door I tried to open was closed tight, which could have caused me to worry and panic. Time was getting shorter when I needed to have a solution. However, being down that road many, many times, I was confident God would work it out. Just in what I thought was the nick of time, all details were quickly solved within hours. What could have appeared to outsiders as not possible and complicated was simply disentangled. Thank you, Lord. 
Not once did I give it a moment's thought. He did it in the past. I knew he would do it again, and he did. I certainly have faith in the Lord, but my trust for him is also very strong. We need to put all our concerns, problems, and worries in God's hands. He knows best. He is the best leader. We may have failed him, but he is always faithful. Follow his commandments and let him guide you through life. You will never regret following him. Thank you, Father, that you are my God. And thank you for loving me enough to send your son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for me. Thank you that you are with me through every circumstance of life and have promised to be with me forever and ever and to be my guide unto death. Thank you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.